Now, some more examples of scrap metal theft. In Arizona, thieves made off with eight miles of copper power lines that will cost a quarter of a million dollars to replace. In Yakima, Washington, thieves with spiked boots climbed power poles to cut down the copper cable that powered some historic trolleys, closing the system for the season. And in Vancouver, something very similar has happened with a streetcar system that is popular with tourists. Dale started out in the day as one unhappy guy. It's tough to see all your hopes and dreams and plans get stolen, literally. I'm mad. I don't know. I think if I... I'd like to catch somebody, you know, and um, have them prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Catch who? They are swarming over the city. They don't like to be seen. With carts of scrap metal, they say they found. All of them seem to be gone. Copper wire that was found along the tracks. Found after someone used wire cutters. Be, um... Some person, uh, because of the price of copper, has come along and cut off all the wires from Science World all the way to Granville Island. Every one of them seems to be gone. All of them? All of them seem to be gone. And they've taken them to a recycling depot uh, to get money for the copper. All over town, stuff just found. Because the world price for scrap metal is astronomical now, stuff just found laying around and going to junkyards. And the result, the streetcar named Desire was renamed Disaster. Now how much do they get? Pennies. But how much does it cost to replace all of this? Thousands of dollars. And without it, the train won't run. He shows us a piece of what was stolen, hundreds like this that link the tracks and keep the power continuous. And while he's doing this, someone who finds metal on the street came along. What, people have been stealing it? Yeah, yeah people yes. have been stealing people it. Been stealing it big time. Yeah. I know it's worth lots of money, that's why. Yeah, how much is this worth? Two bucks a pound. Wow. Can if, I have it? No, you can't. No, no. no. What would you do with it if we gave it to you? I would take it to the scrap metal place and pawn it in. Seemingly hopeless, because if they put those wires back, what will happen? But remember we said Dale started the day with sadness. But then something happened. Maybe a way to fight back. And we leave Dale. I feel great. Yeah. The solution? At the end of the news hour, a simple idea that may possibly make things, at least along the track, slightly harder to find. Finally tonight, a happy postscript to our story earlier tonight about scrap metal thieves who hit Vancouver's historic tourist streetcar. As Mike McArdle reports, it looks like the bad guys will not be grounding the train after all. And now the good news. Remember earlier Dale was telling you about the disaster that struck the old streetcars? Someone had ripped off, literally with large wire cutters, stolen the copper wire that keeps the streetcars going. Some person, uh, because of the price of copper, has come along and cut off all the wires from Science World all the way to Granville Island. They linked one section of rail to another on both sides of the track. Hundreds was. of meter long wires gone. The streetcar doesn't run without them. Now, how much do they get? Pennies. But how much does it cost to replace all of this? Thousands of dollars. Taken not by a guy we met, but one who explains why scrap yards buy these. So if you bent this. Oh, you cut it up or whatever, then yeah. sure. But if it's got any names or anything on it, they won't take it. They'll phone the police. But this has no names on it? And... No names. So it's good. But enough bad news. While we're talking to Dale, a surprise. A couple of what turned out to be brilliant, inventive city electricians arrived to save the day. On the shoulder, a box of tricks. Did you know they were coming? No, I didn't. The brainwave, a mini jumper. After it's welded, less than two inches of potentially stealable wire. The original, 10 times longer and 100 times more tempting. Yeah, you wouldn't get much. Because to, to easily take it off, you'd cut it, and you'd have to get some sort of cutters in. So, uh -huh. yeah, so if, it, if it's in close and right on top of the rail joiner, <coughs> it's going to be hard to get a cutter in there. It's not worth it to me. Spending, what, spending five months in jail for five dollars? That's not worth it. And so the streetcar we all desire will soon be gathering up steam, and that is why Dale ended his day by saying... I feel great. Yeah. We can go ahead and, uh, and entertain the people and give them a good time. The bottom line, thievery and greed have been strangled by a ribbon of steel made stronger by one good idea.